hope this is a message to anyone out there that is listening right now, especially targeting at the young teens right now. So to speak, as I listed above for the title, I'm not here to discriminate here or what have you. No, not sincerely, but I feel in my heart right now to share this message because obviously, it's for many of us as we transition from a young child to teen to adult. Usually, these are the tough years that we are usually facing of certain everyday challenges that we may face. As we know that basically for some of us that are young and old, some of us may have started on YouTube or anywhere in our life sort of thing. And in the same as that, some of the people would question us who's real and who's not on and off the screen to what our lives are really like. But behind the scenes we know that sometimes not many people really do know because we mask it or tend to hide it for the fear of judgment and fear of basically not being accepted and everything else and, and amongst us and all that. But the real truth of it today though with young teens today however as I've noticed that obviously we are struggling with everyday situations regardless of what it may be as I mentioned. For a classic examples that we may go through in our life we are transitioning from maybe deciding to change our gender, sexuality, also maybe just changing schools or what have you, you know, and it's, it's sometimes we feel sad and embarrassed of who and what we are in some cases maybe, and in some cases also despite it all of the embarrassment and every other mixed feelings and emotions on top of that are, are raging hormones and what have you. Also in sadness, emotions will run high despite these everyday changes. Mental health both, obviously with the mental health of depression that I'm talking about today obviously has no means of age, sexuality or race or culture. It doesn't discriminate us. We will once in our lives will have something like depression or other form of mental illnesses that comes in our way. But in my jurisdiction we should all be able to feel loved, accepted and wanted and we shouldn't have to feel that we should be validating our feelings to the world or so just when it comes down to it we shouldn't have to feel that we should be comparing ourselves to the lives of others around us because everyone's journey in life is different when it comes for us in, in the age as i said before transitioning can be crazy from us to from a young child to teen to adult and that we need to basically feel that we need to basically have some form of guidance and support from our peers but sometimes we feel like we're alone, isolated and everything else but we're not alone. Everyone will one day in their life, as I repeat, will face this one day. Sometimes with all these everyday situations that I've clearly illustrated to you guys today will come flying fast at us and sometimes will come with a whirlwind of mission. Depression or any other mental health condition is what we have got and we shouldn't by choice have to actually basically live and dwell on it. We should be able just to not let it define us, even though we need to remove the stereotyping and the stigma that is around the mental illnesses that we face in our everyday lives. So, sad fact of the reality as well in this fact is that many pro medical professionals today, to this day, still have basically no clue to what may have caused depression in the first place. I believe everything that happens for a reason and that we should be able to look after ourselves first and foremost for others as it is okay to be selfish once in a while. It is okay not to be okay for a time, obviously, but as I said before, not to dwell on it because obviously it's a sign of weakness if we don't ask for help. A sign of strength, on the other hand, is basically acknowledging there is a problem and actually doing something about that problem, especially when it comes to our mental health. Also, like this, also, Basically, our self boost self-love, self-respect and self-esteem in ourselves is important. How we feel about ourselves is more important than what others may think about us, even if they don't know us from a bar of soap. We should be able to love ourselves first before putting ourselves out there by, you know, loving others. Being picture perfect isn't always important as well as being the next beauty model, you know, the next size 8 or what have you. Or it isn't also about having so many likes and followers on our social medias. You know, we get so caught up today with what we should be doing in ourselves and that we tend to not act ourselves. We tend to, you know, put a brave face on and just maybe mask it, as I said before, clearly so many times before about people with autism and stuff. And it can go the same way with people with mental health conditions as well as, you know, just normal everyday people. 
no matter what nasty comments we may receive from people, we should just rise up above them and prove to, the, prove to ourselves that we are more than these comments that are throwing at us. Like a man said, you could say on yourself of self affirmations, I am beautiful, I am talented, I am worthy to be loved, I am special, I am worthy to be supported, I am worthy to be praised and adored. Looks aren't always everything to me. Obviously, it's all about your personality because looks fade out eventually, regardless of what we look like, you know. And I believe also in saying this that basically what we see in ourselves, inside of ourselves, of our personalities and our characteristic traits and so much more shine out more than the materialistic looks of us being the super slim being. Because everybody tends to go for a cycle of change. And even though you may be asking yourself why should you change yourself for the sake of others around you just to suit others when maybe the ones that you're trying to put to yourself or to others around you to change ain't happy on themselves so they just want you to change. When it should be a give and take scenario here of people reciprocating to you that they should change within it. Change can be good and can teach us our everyday life lessons. Change can help us to be mature, to grow and learn into, you know, what we are evolving as a young man and woman today and these life lessons that are thrown at us. So I want to quickly end on this note for my advice for you all that are watching right now that no matter what it is okay to not be okay for a time. Try and love yourself more. Treat yourself more better, you know. Treat yourself more better to a way that you want to be treated, you know. Don't disregard that you feel that you're ugly, you're not. You know there is someone out there that will love and care for you and your own life. Regardless, it may be a tough road ahead. Never be ashamed of who and what you are as well as you being ashamed of showing your real emotions if that comes to that point that you're getting so overwhelmed and you want to scream, shout, what have you. Find the people around you that you can trust, be it if it's your parents, your teachers or whoever that you can talk to while you're on your also in life because obviously talking is a key and also finding a proper situation where you can actually evolve into that situation admitting that okay this is a problem I need to work on this that and the other uh, never in your life think that you're worthless or what have you basically and that's not worth living far from it because obviously there's so many opportunities out there that you haven't obviously reached out to yet and tapped into wood of what you want to do maybe and you're seeking out what you should be doing in life take it easy on yourself about you know what you're soul seeking right now what you want to do in life never forget ever race yourself against time thinking oh i want to be this like this person over here that's a model or i want to be like a guy over there that's being a race car driver you know also in saying there's maybe with these informations and stuff write down your thoughts that you may be feeling in a diary format maybe and also in saying there's of your thoughts maybe list some gratitude of what you're grateful for list about three to five maybe on a daily and just work out what you're grateful for in life because obviously you know as I you said in one of my videos previously I usually self-affirm myself by building myself with it. Also try to keep yourself busy and distracted from the negativity or the negative thoughts that it looks about because when it comes down to depression it comes down to the also like the negative event or the self-rumination of those white lies that is fueled upon us apparently like depression like many other mental illnesses will collide with one another one way or another another one is just the normal mandatory things that you do on a daily you exercise sleep well eat healthy sing dance do whatever that makes you happy and at peace in yourself you know um also when it comes down to some of the negativity also just to cut the ones that are giving you the negativity because you don't need those type of people in your life because obviously they'll just drag you down even more so because they're obviously unhappy in their life and they want you unhappy with them. Basically also when you're ready step out of your comfort zone you know be it if you want to travel on your own be it if you want to do something on your own or even just want to make friends and stuff you know make that time come when you're ready. Also in saying this for the last bit is also celebrate the steps of success of the small steps that you made of your accomplishments of the day that you've achieved for example you getting out of bed brushing your teeth getting dressed is a huge step for some that are depressed so give you a high five and high praises that you are basically about yes i want to take on the world save a life and don't take a life